Hello everyone, Jackie Tomlin here. Today we are going to do a collective reading. Let's see what's going on. Let's say the next 48 hours, even though I'll be here tomorrow. So we'll take a look at uh, your weekend and going into Christmas, believe it or not. We are on that countdown to Christmas. Guys, hope you are doing well. If you're seeking a personal reading, first of all, if you're coming into the live and you have questions, stick around because a lot of times the collective reading will answer those questions that you have. Okay, but if you're seeking a personal reading, you're going to visit me at JackieTomlin.com and you will find a menu of options over there for your readings. We're going to start today with a few generalized messages. We'll get into a tarot reading, followed up with some more miscellaneous messages, and of course I will close you out with those romance angels. Hi there, Becky! I uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic week. My apologies for not getting over here Tuesday. I was quite busy. Now, yesterday I was able to post a link over here to the podcast. It is When Spirit Speaks Podcast. The word podcast is in the name. And there you will find messages from Spirit from Aries through Pisces with a quick collective at the end. And the word yesterday was on the Law of Attraction. Law of Attraction, um, where thoughts go, energy flows, and about um, clearing your energy, releasing the toxicity of 2023. Oh, thank you, Jeffer. Thank you. So, let's get into today's message. Like I said, today we're going to focus on the next 48, but I will be here again tomorrow. Okay? So, are you guys ready for Christmas? I'm not. I'm not. I still got wrapping to do. <laughs> I still got a little shopping to do. Not even going to lie about it. Alrighty, let's see. What are the messages today? Just some random messages here. Oh, chaos. That kind of describes my morning. Chaos. Baking. There you go. She's got some baking to do. I love it. Christmas baking is the best. So some chaos coming up. You look at here, guys. Miracles. Miracles. When miracles appear, you don't pray for them. You don't ask for them. You expect them. Those Christmas miracles are important. Healing. Some of you are healing physically. Some of you are healing emotionally over someone that has done you wrong. There's something here that's going to require you to trust and have faith. Magic. I mean... How cool is it that it's here at Christmas and we got magic and miracles? Stability. Some of you are coming into stability where you didn't think stability was possible. You're feeling that glow up. You're feeling that transition. And you're starting to feel that change. Okay? And we have, yeah, some of you sticking close to home. Your sanctuary, making it your home. Strength to get you through no matter what. Success, victory, I'm loving this energy. And of course, we are under Mercury Retro. And this is, you know, the time frame of the unexpected. It's also about the past returning. And I do have you reuniting and reconnecting with someone from the past. This is a renewal of some sorts. Um, now, for some of you, this could be reuniting with someone from matters of the heart. Or this could be with someone of family and friends. But I can tell you this. It's the opposite of sex. So, if it's a female in here watching this, then it's a male that's returned. And and vice versa okay but it is the opposite sex is returning grace is falling upon you some of you experience some some deja vu that you've been here and done this and we have energy that transfer of energy is what this is talking about is when you do things differently you get a better result it is a collective reading dear so yeah so when you do things differently you're going to get a better result Okay, and then we have wisdom. You need to tap into your intuition and trust where you're being led. Okay, because something there is going to leave you to take action. And it's part of your manifestation. You guys are manifesting dreams at this time. I like it. Y'all are so high vibration over here. I love reading for you guys. Yep. Yep. Yes, I don't need cards and stones either, dear. I've been a psychic for 17 years. National television appearances, all that stuff. The cards is for your entertainment. It's for something for you to look at. But if you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTomlin.com. So, 
But let me see here. And like I said, if you're coming into a collective read with questions, stick around because nine times out of ten, it's going to be answered right here in your collective read. Thank you. All right. So, Spirit is asking you to slow down. Slow down and listen. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. And the reason being is there's an answer here waiting for you. Hey, Bay. Love. I have intensity and love for my singles as well as my couples. And something here that's going to require your obedience, your consistency, and your diligence. So you're really going to have to commit here. And we have to steer clear of the forbidden. All right. We have movement. Movement on the home front. Someone moving in. Someone moving out. Someone could be coming for an extended stay. This could also be the movement of furniture. This could be renovations, anything like that. And there's something here that you are in total and complete denial about. Okay. And then someone is coming in to open up and confide in you. Okay. Now, let me say this. I need you to be a little open-minded when this happens because this person is struggling with telling you the whole story. They're struggling to get it out. I'm not going to say you don't have the whole story. I'm just saying they're struggling and opening up and expressing to you. Okay. There's also a shady person. And this person may be approaching you about that shady person. And from what I can see is they fear that you don't know it. Thank you, Bay Violet. Appreciate you, dear. They struggle with telling you who this person is for fear that you won't believe them. Trust where you're being led, remain objective, and remain open-minded. Now, I am seeing the initial T here, as well as the initial R. Now, remain high vibration. That spirit of playfulness is still surrounding you. You guys are just getting back into the groove of things. Some of you are just falling into that Christmas groove. Some of you are just finally catching hold of that Christmas spirit because you realized... It's coming whether you're ready or not. Okay. I mean, go ahead. Turn some Christmas carols on. It's only, it's over in a few days. You are protected by the white light. You are surrounded. You are protected. Could be dealing with an air sign as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of people find that you are a good person to open up to. Um, you're a good listener. Okay. People seem to come out to you. Thank you, Brenda. Um, and some may share with you a vision and talk to you about the psychic realm or maybe that they're having visions or premonitions or things like that. Okay. And we have, ooh, wish fulfillment. Okay. So some of you are looking at dinner out and I'm not talking about Christmas dinner because I mean, we're all going to do Christmas dinner, but you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about dinner out. Something different, just something, you know, just pleasurable here. You could also be dealing with a Gemini. And some of you are going to finally get that pat on the back. Perhaps you completed an online course. Maybe you're looking at a raise or a promotion. But something here is your hard work is going to be recognized. And some of you are feeling like you've hit a brick wall. You haven't hit a brick wall at all. At all. But here's the thing. The reason you feel that way you yourself have a tendency to overcomplicate things. You have a tendency that you can, how do they say, make that mountain out of a molehill? Don't do that. Don't sit around and overdo and overthink on things. There you go. There you go. Online courses are amazing. Um, only thing I offer online, I do offer a distant learning course in Reiki. If you're interested in becoming a Reiki master. And I also offer a workshop on the tarot, which we'll be doing that first of year too, because those are a lot of fun. Alrighty. Let's get into these tarot messages. The messages, what we what we need to know. Let's focus the next 48 hours. What do we need to know in the next 48 hours? What's coming up in the next 48 hours? 
and all right. Oh, well, we can stop right here. There's the magician. This is the highest card in the tarot. This is your yes answer. If you're in the room with a question, it is your yes answer. This is pl plainly stating that you get everything you want and desire. It is right there on the table before you. And we have the Nine of Swords. You guys are feeling a little bit jiggity. It's coming from this new moon energy. It's coming from the Mercury retrograde, okay? It's coming from Christmas and just the hustle and bustle. It does show me you're going to struggle with a loss of sleep. Loss of sleep is definitely present here. Eight of Swords jumping out the deck talks about the card of self-imposed restrictions that no one is holding yourself back. Well, I have to ask, what are you holding yourself back from? I don't see any reason for it. Continue to push forward. We have the Hierophant. Love this energy. So it's time about your manifestation, your ability to draw into you what you want to see happen in a very quick turnaround time. Okay, so keep your thoughts and all energy high and vibrant as you draw into you what you want to see happen. Center your reading says time frame for your new beginning is right now. It is right now, right here, and right now. Hi there, Jesse. And Knight of Swords, something is rushing in here. What is rushing in for you guys? Look at there. It's the Nine of Pentacles, the completion of something. Something is completing. You know, you can't have a new beginning without a completion. And that's what I'm saying. Something is rushing in to complete. But you're also, you're sitting on top of the world. You are uh, financially, you're well off. I'm not... Not well off, but you know what I'm saying? You're independent. You're doing your your own thing. You have the wisdom. Some of you are opting to remain single. Nothing wrong with that. Two nines together here indicates that completion. And with that completion, like I said, comes that new beginning and the time frame is now. Balance being restored with the justice cards. Some of you were looking at um, a court case. Some of you are looking at a hearing of some sorts. This could be the signing of a legal document, legal contract. For some of you, this could be a large lease and or a purchase. But whatever this is that's coming in is definitely restoring your balance. And I want to say for a lot of you, it's restoring your financial balance. Three of Wands. Okay, y'all guys, that is me. You have a patience problem. You're ready for change. You're ready to move forward. You're ready for your ship to come in. This is Spirit asking you to just be still and wait a little longer. It will happen. Okay? Bonus card. Three of Swords. Be warned. This isn't so much a warning in the love life or matters of the heart. This is just in general. Third person. I want an advice and opinion. Someone sticking their nose in their business because they feel they know you better than you know yourself. Come on, guys. We all have one. We all have one of those. You know we do. All right. Let's go further with these messages. Let's start on top with that magician. Something you're reading. The sun. The nine of swords beside the nine of swords. And temperance. So the sun shining brightly in all that you do. There is that loss of sleep. Temperance, you may be dealing with the Sagittarius, uh, but temperance says you recognize and embrace that when you do the same thing, you get the same results. So therefore, you're going to change things up. When you change things up, you're going to get a much better result. Okay. On the loss of sleep, there's an unexpected offer of love. Remember, you're in the time frame of the unexpected. Six of Wands, you are absolutely 200% headed to victory and success. Some of you've got some kind of a glow up going on, some kind of recognition. Like I said, that's that pat on the back, it's coming in. Okay. Some of you may actually be offered a job opportunity because of this glow up. Okay. And again, a Sagittarius has appeared here as a messenger card, but the message is putting yourself first, taking care of you, putting your needs first for a change. Self-imposed restrictions overridden with that magician. You've got the magician twice. The yes answer. Getting everything you want and desire. Everything you want desire on the table before you. If you guys are in here seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. Readings start at $15 and go up. And we have the full card energy. Love this energy for you guys. 
you know, you're manifesting, you've got the magician, you're doing things differently. The full card energy says that you are happy, go lucky, and carefree. <sighs> Travel like lightly, but my biggest thing is you're getting ready to jump into something with both feet. And it may have to do with someone from your past. That reconnection of that person from your past. Now let's get into your manifestation here. What do we have going on with that manifestation? We have the world, as in the world is your oyster. We have the five of wands talking about stare clear and avoid any type of drama, particularly at work or at home. Okay. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is talking about there's new money coming in. But this is money. Money, money, money. Money never comes quick enough. This is the slowest moving night in the deck. Okay. Center of your reading. They all jumped out for you. You've got the Empress. The Mother card. Positive changes on the home front. Some of you may be getting the news of a pregnancy. There is an unexpected offer of love, which could be matters of the heart, your family or friends. You take it as it resonates. And you've got decisions to make that you've been putting off and you've been putting these decisions off way too long. Because you're deferring these decisions and you're putting them off, it makes you feel bajiggity. You're anxious, you're excited, you're overwhelmed. Guys, you feel like a cat on a hot tin roof. Slow down. Remember, you've got options and go ahead and take care of or make these decisions you're putting off because it's eating up your energy. It's eating it up. Okay, on the Knight of Swords. Someone's getting ready to reach out to you that you are currently not speaking to. Okay, and this is asking you to keep an open mind and keep an open heart. Open your heart to give love. Open your heart to receive love. For some of you, a Scorpio may or may not resonate here. And then Knight of Swords appears again with what is rushing in. New path. You came, you saw, you kicked some butt. This shows me you've had it rough. You have worked hard. You have created a new path, the right path, and a better path. Okay, so yeah, you're definitely on the right path. I also want to throw out that a couple things that may resonate. One would be someone that drives a motorcycle. The other would be someone that hunts. Okay, these may or may not resonate for you. On that nine of pentacles, we have the four of pentacles. Keeping some things to yourself. Thoughts, ideas, opinions. Shh. Keep them to yourself. Nine of Cups comes into play. Nine of Cups comes in with wish fulfillment, total happiness, total contentment. Some of you, a sapphire may or may not resonate, particularly a sapphire necklace. Wheel of Fortune says that wheel is turning to your favor. This is good luck and abundance. This is also your card of partnership. Justice, justice, restoring your balance. Again, slow down. Think things through. You've got options in many areas. You, there's no need to rush into a decision. Okay? You've got the Eight of Pentacles. There's something in addition to some of you looking at the sale of an item or some kind of glow up, some kind of side hustle coming in. This is something in addition to your regular pay. And I'm going back to say that there is intensity and in love no matter if you are single or a couple. Again, we have that three of swords, that third person. I want to advise in or opinions. I really feel that there's some type of jealousy surrounding you here. Okay. And we have the three of wands again. You're losing your patience. Losing the patience. Nine of pentacles. Some of you just decided to remain single and do you. You know, you're, you guys are in a great spot. Okay. All right. Let's get to some of the reading bonus here. King of Swords, you could be dealing with someone in a uniform, someone of authority, and you could be dealing with a Libra. Uh, this person, to me, appears to be, it could be a gentleman, maybe a female, but to me it's a gentleman. They have either silver, gray, or blonde hair. They have very light colored hair. Um, new beginning in uh, finances. Some of you, you've got to let go of this feeling that you're feeling stuck. You feel like you're not moving forward. You're not moving backwards. There's no movement. Spirit says, uh-uh. It's slowing you down for a reason. Slowing you down for a reason. 
All right, let's get into the Kipper cards because you guys love the Kipper deck over here. So let's see what Kipper has going on for you today. Death card energy. Wow. Packed with that Mercury Retro. It's going to be a little emotional for you. This is endings, closures, rebirths, and new beginnings. One door closes and another door opens. So it's going to be a bit emotional for you. Um, unexpected company. It's here. Guys, I'm talking next 48 hours. Somebody knocking at the door. It's going to happen. There's that official person that I was talking about in a uniform. I also want to throw out that this person may very well have a military background. Okay. And then we have, don't bring yourself down. Some of you got that, this Christmas blues going on. You don't have time for that. I'm looking at your energy. I'm looking at you. And it it's too busy. You don't have time to be depressed. There is jealousy because someone is viewing you as a very privileged lady, okay? Or privileged man. There is a warning here against your health. I also want to warn about accidents happening close to home or in the home. Be careful. Good morning there. And we have, I'm going to be honest with you, work will be a pain in the butt. It will be a pain. Push through. You may be hearing of a marriage of someone getting married next week. Uh, this could be someone that's getting married the first of the year. And we have someone is looking to steal your ideas. So whatever idea that you have that you just don't think it's a good idea, you know, it's just not a big deal. Somebody does because they're going to steal it from you. Y'all ready for this one? Sudden wealth. Sudden wealth. I'm going to say, I mean, I don't condone gambling, but if you're going to buy one of those scratch-off tickets, let's make sure it has the number seven in the title of the name. Okay? I share with your psychic. Don't forget me. Some of you are getting ready to do some traveling, uh, perhaps by train. Some of you, I'm really seeing the state of North Carolina. I got any here from North, anybody here from North Carolina or going to North Carolina? I see North Carolina. We also have unexpected income. That was in your reading, you know, money in addition to. Let go of your poverty mindset. Remember, you've got that hair font. You're under this area of manifestation. You don't want to draw poverty into you. You want to come up the abundance mindset. Okay? And some of you, the filing of paperwork at a courthouse is going to be significant. Some of you are going to be offered a job. If you're out of work, you won't be long. There is this deceitful person around you. I see the letter M specifically. Um, someone might be out of bounds trying to step into your territory. But there's also good news coming in. And that good news shows me that you are so excited about it. You're like over the top excited. All right, gang, let me leave you with a couple of affirmations to hold you over. But I will be back here tomorrow. I will be back here tomorrow with a reading um, to see what Christmas is going to look like, to see what our weekend's going to look like, you know? Guys, don't forget, check on here. I did post yesterday. There's a couple of videos. It has the link to the podcast for iHeartRadio. Susan, thank you, my dear. You're greatly appreciated. Um, those are messages from Spirit. Of course, they're always free. You can find it on your favorite podcast platform. Wendy, thank you as well. Nice. Volunteering is so important this time of the year. It really is. Um, it's kind of like tithing. I mean, if you don't have the money to donate to charity, your time, time is worth something, you know? All right. It says, the peace I seek resides within me. Okay. And we have, just like the moon, I will go through phases. Amen to that. I go through phases all the time. And we have inhale and exhale. You know, some kind some guys, you just, you just have to breathe. Just have to breathe. Let's give you one more. Look at here. Words to live by. Enjoy the now. 
They're right here. They're right now. Enjoy it. You guys have a very high vibrational read today. Um, you know, keep that vibration going because you're under that manifestation. Don't forget unexpected company in the next 48 is coming. If you guys are seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTomlin.com. You'll find a menu of options over there. Reading start at 15 and go up. I've been doing this for 17 years. Have a fantastic day, and I do plan to see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.